bride and the old accuser to the Lord did cry he is a sinner now he must die and I heard a voice say he said father I'll go and I'll pay sin debt with Calvary's flow and I'll Bearing my body the marks of the cross To save this child who is sin sick and lost And it's still blood saves from sin And it's still the blood cleanses within from the highest star in heaven To the depths of the sea It's still the blood of Jesus That brings victory to me Hey Amen, I know I can't sing I appreciate y'all sitting through that <laughs> uh, Someday I will be able to though I don't know why I do not understand why the Lord did not give me a gift of uh, singing to I love to sing I just not very good at it uh, I didn't get any uh, musical gifts matter of fact the harder I look I'm not sure I got a whole lot of, I'm sure I got something some gifts uh, but uh, singing and uh, playing instruments I actually tried uh, really hard to play the guitar and uh, I got to where I could play three chords you know and that's about it I was uh, then my uh, stepbrother my father had uh, he remarried and had uh, st uh, uh, you know a stepson and that kid picked up a guitar and just right off the bat uh, could play it I know uh, I just don't understand why people get those <laughs> and I don't anyway I'm uh, about to Dallas, Texas um, and I'm having to come th right through town so I figured I'd give you a view of the city if I uh, Actually, right now I'm in between Dallas and Fort Worth. I think I believe this is Michael's uh, neck of the woods uh, of Bible fandom. If you ever watch his uh, channel, he does uh, real good reviews, and uh, I believe he's going to seminary somewhere around here. But yeah. Uh, it always reminds me when I go into the cities of Lot. Remember Lot? He set his tents towards Sodom. But Peter said he was a righteous and a just man. And that was because who he knew. <laughs> it wasn't because what he did. I guarantee you that. And that's what that song's all about, folks. I, I know I harp on it a lot, but uh, there's so much today, especially... Uh, they've taken the blood out of uh, salvation, and you can't do that. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 9, it says, Without the blood of a testator, and all things are uh, in the law justified by the blood. Um, I don't know if we'll ever know until we get there exactly what happened on that cross. When he shed his blood, he took it to the mercy seat, and uh, the Father required the blood and he accepted the blood because the son of God folks ascended into heaven by his own righteousness nothing before or since has ever done that uh, Jesus did not sin but he died for all mankind and their sin and then he ascended into heaven. And when he went, he took his blood with him. Praise God for that. If it wasn't for the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, none of us could get in. If you are depending on your works, 
that will not get you there. You cannot climb into heaven. You got to go through the door. And Jesus is the door. He is the way, the truth, and the life. I'm in a good mood because I'm on my way home, folks. Praise God. It gets a... Uh, there's a... There's a lot of a... Uh, after a month, you get tired. What is that thing? All these Christmas lights. I wonder how many of you really know what it's all about. Of course, Jesus wasn't born on uh, December 25th. Uh, December 25th is the uh, winter equinox. It was uh, the shortest day of the year, and uh, the pagans had a festival on it. Uh, and then the Catholics adopted it so that they could get more converts. But it's a time that we celebrate. And there's nothing wrong with celebrating the birth. Oh, look at there. I, I never come this way. <laughs> uh, uh, celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can celebrate it on uh, Christmas. More than likely he was born in... Uh, either the spring or the fall. I've heard arguments on both sides, but uh, it doesn't matter to me. If we want to celebrate it on uh, December 25th, that's fine. Did you know that you're not supposed to cross solid white lines uh, on the road? Evidently, that guy did not know that. You are not supposed to change lanes in the solid... Uh, okay, I'll shut up. But yeah, folks... Uh, uh, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is how we are saved. And uh, that is a lot of the sermons you hear nowadays. That has been taken out. And uh, without the blood, you can't get there. It is always the blood. Uh, have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed? In the blood of the Lamb, are you purely trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? All right, I won't torture you no more. Uh, pretty soon, pretty quick here, we should be running, uh, say, in Dallas, I would think. I think Dallas and Fort Worth are about 30 miles apart. And I just went through... a. Uh, Better make sure I don't mess up here. I just went through uh, Fort Worth, but uh, I'm looking for Dallas, Texas. It's uh, 948 Dallas, Texas on a Sunday night, and these folks. Uh, it's not as bad as it could be. The I-20 is uh, shut down down there. Uh, they got the interstate and you have to get off. We uh, come through there the other day. I was, uh, my co-driver was driving. And uh, he totally got lost out down there. I had to get up and uh, I didn't know where we were because uh, I had just woke up. So I had to go on my maps app and figure out where we were. And uh, we had to go around uh, I-20, so I thought I'd avoid it this time. Yeah, here we come. I think that's Dallas right up there. And uh, so what I did is uh, uh, went to my Maps app. out of there you just want to wow dude don't go into the wall you go uh yeah there's dallas i see it you can't see it on the camera yet but uh yeah you uh if you're headed east and your road shut down drop down or up and then still go east <laughs> keep 
going in the same direction, eventually you'll come out on top. Uh, it works for me anyhow. But yeah, he was uh, trying to turn around to get back on that one road that was shut down, and uh, you don't have to do that, folks. Now that is uh, something kind of strange right there. What is that? Oh, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Huh. You see that? Oh, we're taking a tour of Dallas, Texas now, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so I had one uh, co-driver years ago. I trained him how to drive, but he was an old country boy, and he would take dirt roads before he'd take the interstate. I mean, this guy, uh, I'd wake up, I'd say, all you got to do is stay in I-40 and go with east. And I had him in Arizona one time, <laughs> and he went, uh, I woke up and we were still in Arizona. He should have been almost to uh, Texas, but he was still in uh, Arizona. I said, what are you doing and where are we? And we were down, he was dot going down through every little town on all, all these back roads. He said, well, I'm still headed east. Yeah, but you're on 30 mile an hour roads and two lane roads and anyway. <laughs> He wasn't uh, the sharpest tool in the shed, and he surely didn't make any time. That guy, he was a gambler, and he wanted to stop at those casinos, and I just, I can't, I can't abide that. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't deal with that very often, so uh, who cares? How'd I get on that? We should be coming around the corner here. I, like I say, I never come up. I mean, what I'm doing is I'm going across 30, I-30, uh, and it goes straight through uh, Dallas and Fort Worth, so I don't uh, I don't usually want to go straight through Dallas and Fort Worth. So I go down uh, 20, kind of goes on the bottom of Dallas and Fort Worth. The only time I come through uh, the town is one time I came down through here, well, a couple times actually, on the 4th of July, and it was nighttime. And I'll tell you what, these Texans, they uh, they like their fireworks. Because uh, this whole town's lighting up. And I mean, not just, uh, you know, the big ones. You'll see fireworks coming from everywhere. Uh, I always like Texans. I always like Texans. Uh, seem to be good people. But, uh, yeah, we're at Loop 12, so we're uh, coming in. Yeah, there, I see it. I see Dallas. Uh, my camera doesn't pick it up. The glare is all you'll see. I'm sorry about that. But, uh, we're coming. We're getting into it now. I got to drive all night tonight, so, um, and, and I haven't, uh, I used to could do this no problem. When I hauled chicken, uh, you had to, you know, cook your books a little bit and everything, and, uh, you, you slept when you got loaded, and, uh, a lot of times it was like two hour nap, and then you'd be going and we went like uh, five days with just straight. You had to redo your books all the time. It was uh, it was something else. So one night shouldn't kill me. But I, last night I got really tired right at daylight. Uh, I'm getting old, I guess. My uh, body says it should be asleep. Often, uh, you know, the Bible says we are of the day. <laughs> so uh, I and I usually drive from uh, two in the afternoon or thereabouts to uh, two in the morning. So you get kind of you split the night. Uh, but I took off last night because I was in a hurry to get back home to my babies. Uh, and he was.
was sleeping, so I just drove out. Uh, I had a break in. We heck, we sat there 24 hours, and they wanted me to wait till seven in the morning to get my paperwork. I had to uh, tell them, no, that's not going to work for me. But uh, I'm not going to be able to do that. So I got out, uh, got out of there, and then I got really, really tired right at daylight. And then he took over and drove the day shift, and then I took over uh, at dark. Uh, like I said, Christmas is the uh, winter equinox. It's the shortest day of the year, and then they start getting longer again. It gets shorter and shorter till Christmas, and then it starts getting longer and longer until the summer equinox. And uh, I'm not exactly sure the date of that. It doesn't matter. But, here in a minute, you ought to be able to see it. I can see the city pretty clear, but I'm looking at my camera every once in a while, and I don't see nothing but glare. I'm sorry about that, folks. I, uh, boy, I'm glad we're on our way home. I'm ready to go home. We're going to go home for five days, and then we're going to stay out till. uh, February, we're gonna just take the pain in the winter time and uh, run about six to eight weeks next time out. So I'm looking forward to getting there and seeing my babies. They like me for the first couple days, and uh, of course, it's Christmas time, so. Well, it's going to be uh, as close to Christmas as I'll get. I'm going to stay out and work on Christmas, but uh, we're going to do kind of a little meal deal. And, uh, then uh, oh, I'm going to let them open a present, so they're going to like me for a little while. The older ones, you know, they get over you. Uh, that little baby, Ray Ray, she's still my sweetheart and so is Harper she's the next to the youngest one and she uh, still loves her papa I'm sure they all do but uh, you know they get about 10 11 years old and yeah and they just start you know doing their own thing which is growing up I guess that's what it's all about I know I'm babbling, but I'm trying to hold on until you can... Do you see that green thing back there? That's a, a tall building, and then there's an X next to it. Let me see if I can get you in closer. There you go. There's Dallas, Texas. That's what I was trying to show you, folks. They got all their fancy lights. Dallas, uh, Texas in general is a uh, wealthy state. Uh, now the liberals are moving in. They'll probably try to, you know, if they get into office here, it'll ruin Texas too. But uh, I think the Texans got more sense than a lot of uh, the other, the, a lot of states in our great country. <laughs> but there you go. That's Dallas, Texas. And again, I I like to emphasize the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ because it is not emphasized enough in this day and age. Uh, you can ask a, a lot of uh, professing Christian. Here we go, right here. Uh, a lot of professing Christians. Uh, how do you get saved? And you'd be surprised how many do not know, folks. Have no idea. I'm 20 minutes in. I hope YouTube don't cut me off because we're right here. I can show you Dallas. Texas. Alright folks, read 
Georgia Bible, that's the the big city of Dallas right there. Read your Bibles and pray without ceasing. I love you, and I'll talk to you next time. God bless each and every one.